water signs welcome back to the channel it's me antonio here i got a tarot card reading for you guys post valentine's day so this is that post sex clarity that post romantic feeling clarity or you could be still be riding off the highs of uh your romantic displays of affection you know being water signs and all the most emotional signs of the zodiac <laughs> to be announced i mean to be expected Using the Lightseer's Tarot deck to pull in some messages from the Collective Divine. Let's see what energies are currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you. But yeah, man, hopefully you enjoyed your holidays, whether it was Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, or today is going to be Singles Day. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to take yourself out on a dinner date, take yourself out uh, to a movie, or just celebrate yourself, man. If you don't celebrate your... How are you going to expect other people to celebrate you or love you if you don't celebrate or love yourself? For those single people that just sit in the house and sulk. Do something for yourself. Jazz yourself up. Doll yourself up and go out. That's the perfect time to meet new people. Get off of Tinder. Get off of Plenty of Fish and all these other social media websites. Be traditional because most of you want a traditional relationship. Just like you're celebrating these traditional holidays. Even though you don't know what a saint is. Even though you don't know who Valentine is. Like, <laughs> pick yourself up, bootstrap your own love, like create the world that you want around you. Women waiting around for a man to deliver them a gift or waiting around for a man to say, I love you. Why don't you go to a man and say, I love you? Right. You listen to your friend say, well, if he loved you or you come to a man and say, if you loved me, well, why don't you stand in the mirror and ask yourself or allow a man to ask you or think to yourself? If you love that man, what are you willing to do? Instead of a man, um, it, it, there's so many things that trigger women. You don't even have to ask her what she brings to the table. Ask her or tell her, if you loved me, what are you willing to do for me? Women are wanting to always be the centers of the attention or the reciprocation of uh, the reciprocators of love. <laughs> So weird. I can go on and on and on and on, but let's get to your reading. We have white beetles coming uh, towards the reading. We also have um, ladybugs as well. Opposites are attracting here. There's fallacies here. For the water sign reading, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Interesting. Six of Wands. 15 minutes of fame. This could be um, victory traveling towards you. A successful moment and it's a, a successful encounter this could be stage presence yeah this could be a highlighted moment here maybe someone got married on Valentine's Day or maybe someone experienced a moment of victory on Valentine's Day wands are known about creativity uh, is known for creativity passion spiritual uh, depth sixes are about victories of course success so someone may have had a pretty good day. It may, may be a very successful day. They may have expanded their options. Trying something new. Speaking about uh, these mobile apps, someone is probably exploring apps at this time. They're trying to get in the spotlight. Now, Valentine's Day is known as the spotlight for women, right? When we think of Valentine's Day, we don't think about what we can do for men. We think about what we can do for women, right? Although men work the hardest, they produce the finances, and they created everything around you. They don't get tired, right? hours off work to come and make sure that you're good that deals with finances and well it's anything you know we never think about when Valentine's Day come around again women always think well if you love me this and that men should be asking that question well if you love me <laughs> do you have my my dinner cooked when I get home do you have my bath water ran have you balanced the checkbooks for my business I see two ladybugs now 
three, four. I normally don't see ladybugs over here. Five. Wow. Six. Seven. Why am I counting ladybugs? Interesting. It's a rarity. I rarely get a chance to see ladybugs nowadays. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a resting moment. Getting a chance to take a deep breath. Getting a chance to count your blessings. Women, count your blessings. <laughs> You're concerned about not getting a filling in your nails. And you don't even uh, appreciate the fact that you still have all ten of your fingers. You want to know what the... what? Oh, I was about to curse so bad I was going to drop that F-bomb. But you want to know what's embarrassing? Going to get your nails and your hands done, your, your, your manicures and your pedicures, and you're missing a finger or multiple. After I had my surgery, my liver transplant surgery, I had a house nurse that would come to my house and help give me my medicine and things like that. I didn't even realize this woman was missing fingers. She was a very nurturing and caring black woman. Very nice nurse. And all that time she was caring for me, I did not realize this lady was missing fingers. So again, women that want to complain about what a man did not and did do for you on Valentine's Day. I done seen videos of men bringing gifts for women. She opens up and then whines and complains about that's what not that's not what she asked for. And starts throwing the gifts all out the window and all over the house. Again... You want yakky weave and all these different color hairs and you want to go and get your nails done. Um, and you, you don't really understand what these Asians are saying about you. But imagine going and sitting in front of their desk and wanting to get a pedicure or a manicure. <laughs> what they're saying when they realize that you're missing two fingers. You're supposed to have ten fingers but you're missing your ring finger on one hand and on your other hand you're missing your uh, index finger. Now that's embarrassing, but women out here complaining about what men and men don't do for them. You weren't even invested in yourself enough to take care of your body. How you expect someone to love you if you don't even love yourself? Eight of Wands, exactly. Caught in a state of uh, mental stress. This is insecurities here. I'm not going to necessarily say that someone around you is hating themselves. You may have people that's hating on you regardless of your uh, insecurities of yourself. Like me, I have haters, even though I'm horribly scarred and disfigured. And believe me, I am. I still, still am. But I was once a beautiful individual. <laughs> Very beautiful. But now, even though I have certain things about me that still needs work, there's people that still hate on me. They will view, this is them watching you on social media. You know, swords are about our thoughts, our words, the way we see the world, the way we communicate with people. And that's funny, you jump from the four of swords to the eight of swords. So someone's currently resting or trying to take a time out and people are looking at it as some sort of insecurity. Now this could be hospital as well. Someone could be, um, this could be some type of uh, hospital or something like that. A highlighted moment here. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is. A room to yourself, maybe an emergency situation with a celebrity. It could be, that is my 15 minutes of fame. The world, another celebrity card, another internet card, the World Wide Web. So this is Sagittarius, Major Arcana, traveling, expanding, closing out cycles, experiencing new energies as well, keeping an open mind. I'm getting radical transformation. So we had what... Um, ladybugs here we have white beetles here usually they're black so yes yeah, someone's going through a transformational period here they're going from and then the funny part is so four four eight and 21 but if we rearrange the numbers it will be 12. so someone is going through a transformative state here they're going from a lack of to uh, insecurities or this is how people are viewing you because you've come out of this out of this insecurity state and you're coming into a celebrity moment expanding traveling could be that's why we're getting grounding or at the bottom of the deck the 15 minutes of fame a highlighted figure 
there could be some sort of tragedy on the way as well in regards to some sort of a celebrity or some sort of important moment not sure why I'm uh, channeling tragedy we do have the eight of swords here hmm someone could could have been taking a break from love as well we have Queen of Swords Libra card uh, we have the silent watcher here now don't get it twisted once the facts are presented and all the details and the receipts are known this is someone that does not have a problem with telling the truth spilling the beans here enlightening individuals now this could be seen as a spiritual enlightenment or some type of download here you can see the spirit of the world um, shining from her third eye or her crown chakra or this could be downloads from the universe giving you a new identity wanting to open up a new cycle for you this is knowledge this is research this could even be writing editing reading books as well I'm getting occultism even though there's no occultism cards here it could be reading a book about occultism this could be anything a Bible a Quran Torah this could be spending a lot of time online researching or at a book and mortar library could be purchasing a book or deciding to do business um, with an author okay someone here has writer's block that's what I'm getting here four of swords eight of swords writer's block they're needing to experience a, a moment of freedom or get a burst of inspiration a spiritual download or something like that they're needing to free their mind four pinnacles they're needing peace they're needing solace could even be financial issues as well or they're consolidating it could be cons okay so this is a consolidation of thoughts yeah someone's writing a book or something like that some type some sort of pamphlet could be a journal uh, could be a mild form of content creation like a video diary or something like that the tower card this is Scorpio Major Arcana so bringing attention to your lifestyle maybe your lifestyle is what's distracting you could be something like a noisy home life a your health is out of order mmm this is a lack of understanding maybe you're surrounded by people that don't necessarily understand you now we have the phrase um, birds of a feather flock together but uh, with that as well see everything that comes with that saying is that when you're hanging around good people they can give you good ideas or rub off positive energy but if you're around negative people lackadaisical people um, you know ill-informed people negative connotations of queen of swords they can give you bad advice or they don't even have to say anything the energy that they give off this person would be exuding energy the ring around them you could be around people that's exuding negative energy or basically uh what i'm getting here with the tower card uh coming uh right underneath the four of swords which would typically be resting we have four of swords and four of pentacles the tower card there could be a um something going on yeah something's going on with your home life you have a noisy home life or you're insecure about something this is about self-examination here four of swords four of pentacles and queen of swords you're needing to explore yourself yeah either you or someone around you is, is desperately insecure they're needing to get out again you can't complain about what you're not getting and all these things you're entitled to Valentine's Day to pass, but you're going to stay in the house complaining all day that you're single, no one loves you and all this, but you haven't, again, you haven't gotten out to put yourself out there. One of the perfect days to do that would be Valentine's Day. Everyone's looking, trust me, everyone's not married and everyone's not in a relationship. <laughs> Just like women do things like Valentine's Day or whatever the heck it is. There's people even a week later after Valentine's Day that's single. There's, there's, not everyone is taken pretty much. And you can't sit around complaining and being insecure about something. It's like having a complaint about something, but you do nothing to change it. This is like people having their own opinions about politics, but they don't participate. 
You're complaining about something that you're not trying to actively change. You don't like your appearance? Try a new type of makeup. You don't like your current, the way you dress? Go shopping, develop a new style. If people aren't attracted to you, look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself why. Is it the way you talk? Is it the way you act? Is it the way you dress? Is it your reputation? Because people forget about that. Again, I spoke about how women love to upload pictures of them. Every uh, face shot of them is also their tits poking up, hitting them in the chin. They can't just post a regular face pic. They have to have their shirt halfway open or they have to be bending over in a picture. And guess what? Any um, man with boundaries of standards <laughs> is going to look at and see that your reputation travels far. Word on the street is you're easy. Or at least the perception is word on social media is she puts herself out there like that. There's there's a tasteful way to do things just like we had King magazine, just like we had the Source magazine, just like we had Double XL and everybody loved to quick flip to the models page. There's there's a tasteful way to do things, not like Hustler or Playboy or any of these other things. King of Wands, strong fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries, a content creator, a leader. Now we have someone, okay, so some, someone that's very insecure here is attracted to someone whose confidence is off the charts. So you have, <laughs> so my advice, you, you, there, there's no way you can get to this person at all. Don't think that you can be the quietest person in the room and you're gonna attract the loudest person in the room or vice versa. Don't think that you're a 10 uh, or don't think that you're a 2, a 3, or a 4 on the scale of attractiveness and yet you're going to attract a 10. Don't think that you're, that you're a poor pauper and that you're going to attract a king. That's not possible. Look at this. Look at this insecurity here. <laughs> and then you have the tower coming up under the four of swords and then coming in after you looking insecure or defeated about yourself we have the king of wands coming in so this is equal um, and these is opposites and I'm not getting opposites to track from this reading now we do have the queen of swords here again the quietest person in the room being attracted to the loudest person in the room five of swords <laughs> confusion Mistaken identities. You're um, overthinking the situation here. You're wanting to expand here. But we see the blood spatters here. Insecurities here. Mental distraughtness. This could even be uh, seven deadly sins. This could be like envy or something like that. Lust. This could even be a prideful situation. I mean, for all I know, I may not even be dealing with a quiet, shy person. This could be someone very prideful and unwilling to step out of their comfort zone and experience new things, which is being encouraged by the world card. We have five of swords come out right under the world card. This is inspiration. This is expansion. This is opening new cycles. This is ex exploration. But we have someone not willing to do so. They're stuck in their ways here. They may even take on new ideas that they're not willing to implement. So this is dealing in other stories. This is teaching something to someone, but them not willing to act on it, what you're teaching them. This is a waste of time. Which is what could have happened yesterday during Valentine's Day. Someone could have wasted someone's time. Five of Pentacles. So we have five of pentacles coming out after five of swords so this is a waste of finances this is a lack of something this is a uh, physical displacement maybe the loss of a home a loss of finances something here hmm. could be thinking about a move as well could be thinking about exiting a relationship the hierophant Five, five, five. So we have five of swords, five of pentacles, and then the hierophant, which is five, as in the numerology. So the hierophant represents a, a preacher or a pastor or someone with higher anointings. There could even be marriage involved here. There's some type of a higher institution, a higher authority. This is um, Taurus's major arcana. 
Mm. Now, what I haven't been getting a lot of here, ironically, for water signs is any water cards, any cups. We have synchronicities. We have uh, four and four, four of swords, four in pinnacles. This is, again, the quietest person in the room or, again, someone lacking something. We have eight. So this is eight and eight insecurities here for some strange reason. There is a lack of confidence here. Adding to that lack of confidence, we can see it here in the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Mental displacement and physical displacement. Now, someone could have an STD. Now, I've ran across a situation like that before where you're questioning yourself or you're wondering why a person won't reciprocate with you, but it's because they have health issues. They're not willing to... They won't just outright and say, oh, I have something that's wrong with me. I'm physically scarred or I have a sexual... Uh, transmitted disease or I had one they won't just outright and say it they will just act um, they will just act a very off-putting way very insecure energy again um, five 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 so there's definitely a change coming could be a change in the relationship a change in the way someone sees you a change in finances again I don't see emotions here the only two court cards I see here is the quietest person in the room which could also be the loudest person in the room depending the queen of swords brings balance after she finished hearing all the bs then she brings her sword down which action is the loudest thing in a room you can have a bunch of people in the room making noise but when someone takes action everyone's going to pay attention so the quietest person in the room and the loudest person in the room this is symbolizing relationship this symbolizes confidence passion and sex now, this could be a quiet night of sex and passion, creativity, again, a, a dinner date or a movie date or something like that. Different situations, different people. Major Arcana, we have the Tower card, we have the World card, and we have the Hierophant. So we have Taurus, Major Arcana, we have Sagittarius, and we have Scorpio. So a deep transformational period, a deep lesson learned. We also are dealing with, um, I'm not necessarily getting occultism, but there is some sort of magic. Someone brewed something. Instead of turning a positive situation or at least try to uh, turn a negative situation positive, it's, it's just they're sulking. Insecurities here. Now, I'm not sure if this is a young person. I would understand, but if this is an older individual sulking about what they expect another person to do. Again, the only three things you can control in life is what you <laughs> is what you think, what you say, and what you do. <laughs> this is actually thinking. This is actually um what do we have? Let's see, what do we have? Thinking, saying, and doing. Hmm. I mean, pastors talk over congregation a lot, so I guess that's talking. But basically what I'm getting here, and I'm trying to find a different ways to interpret this message, we're basically dealing with someone, it's almost like you're so insecure or you're stuck in your ways, but you're complaining about what you see in the outside world, but you're not changing yourself. There's no spiritual transformation here. You're wanting something that's outside of your league. You're wanting something that's outside of your peripheral that you can't have or don't even deserve because you're not putting toward the effort. Or this is someone around you that's taking on this sort of energy here. There's no discipline. There's no patience here. A higher front energy. You could even be upset with someone because they won't give you they won't give you what you want sexually. Because someone has standards and values about themselves. So uh, I've seen this happen before. A woman will get so upset with a man that doesn't want to have sex with her. Oh, I'm sexy. I'm this and that. I have this tight dress on, but this dude is not going to look in my direction. Or he took me on this date. And at the end of the date, he just dropped me home and didn't even ask me for a second date. Or tried to get in my pants. The tower moment or the tower card that we saw coming up in the reading. <laughs> But that's what I have for you today, uh, water signs. There we go. We got the ladybugs. They're getting closer and closer and closer. But it's time for me to get, um, get, get out of here, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.